Good morning. I'm Scott Wrighton, the city manager of Decatur, and uh, we're practicing social distancing even in the production of this video. The health department has their segment, uh, they produced separately, and, and the city and its uh, local government partners are producing this one separately. So we hope that uh, the production of this video will be an example to all of you as you also practice social distancing here in the community for the benefit of the entire community. I'd like to remind you that uh, this coming Thursday will be a mass drop-off here at the Civic Center for those uh, groups, individuals, and organizations that have been engaged in producing sort of homemade masks to, uh, to make up for the shortfall in, uh, in N95 and other um, industry-produced uh, masks. Uh, we may continue, this uh, remains to be decided uh, for, for final, but we may continue that mask drop-off past the, the last announced day, which is this Thursday from one to three. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, the crisis communication team has, has heard from some of the senior living facilities and other providers here in town that they still need masks. So those of you who are interested in continuing to work to make and donate masks would be greatly appreciated. Every year, the city of Decatur has a community drop-off day where all that debris and, uh, and old TVs and furniture from your uh, attic and garage can be gotten rid of. The first day was originally planned for April 21st. That will not take place, but it's one of four dates, and so we're gonna adjust the schedule so the first one will be later in the year, but please know that the April 21st community pickup date will not occur. I've mentioned it at previous uh, announcements and on these videos that there is a uh, there are several programs available to some of the small businesses that have been the most adversely affected by the changing economy of, of COVID-19. And while I'm not going to list all of those here, I want you to know that those are available. Those of you who are in small businesses uh, that have been most affected, some of those programs are direct loans, some of them are grants. The Illinois Treasurer's Office has a link deposit program which can provide uh, funding for short-term loans generally available through your local bank. Details about both of these programs and several others are available through the city's website as well as the website of the Decatur-Macon County Economic Development Council. As all of you know, uh, last month the Congress passed and uh, President Trump signed the CARES Act. It's an acronym for that $2.2 trillion stimulus program intended to get the country through the, uh, the COVID pandemic. Much of the funding goes to small businesses and employers so that they will maintain their, uh, their employees. And there's a great deal of money as well for the healthcare costs of COVID-19. But roughly one eighth of the money in that $2.2 trillion bill is funneled through local governments to use for all the different things that local governments would need to do to be prepared to respond adequately to this, to this emergency. For example, there's $100 million available for firefighters to get more personal protective equipment, uh, $9.5 billion in aid for the food systems and food supply chain that local governments can help with, uh, $4 billion available for assistance to the homeless, uh, $25 billion for changes and retrofits to the transit system. Even here in Decatur, we may have to rethink uh, in the months and years ahead about how we provide public transit based on the, on the changing conditions created by COVID-19. So the City Council will continue to meet. We will be practicing social distancing. Our first uh, meeting under the new procedures is, is this evening. And uh, uh, six out of seven of the elected officials will be participating remotely. Uh, and this, is, this may be a new normal for a while, but I want the citizens of Decatur to know that the business of government is, is going to continue because we have to. There's a lot of actions we have to take to access all, all of this money. And some of you may see uh, the Public Works Department out uh, doing activities. Please know that, that maybe they're just tree, trimming trees right, right now or filling uh, a pothole, but they also have to make sure that our water and sewer system works, that the street lights are on, that the traffic control systems work. Um, and that uh, we have protected our local employees to, to the best that we possibly can by dividing them up into cells so that uh, even as the infection spreads, we're able to provide continuous government. Thank you for all of the help that you provide. We're in this together, and I'm sure that together we'll get through it. Hello, Macon County. It's Brandi Binkley, the administrator with the Macon County Health Department. It is 10.30 a.m. on Monday, April 6th, and we have a couple of updates for you. 
The first update is we have received additional confirmed cases of COVID-19 throughout the weekend. So right now we are at 10 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Macon County. If you'd like more information, we do have that still coming out around noon each day on our Facebook page, Macon County Health Department, Decatur, Illinois, and our website, which is MaconCountyHealth.org. Another thing that happened over the weekend was that CDC put out a recommendation that people wear cloth face coverings whenever going out in public. So what does that mean? Uh, we do encourage you to check out the CDC's website. Uh, it does not have to be a mask that is purchased from somewhere. You probably all have heard that it is difficult to get masks and supplies right now anyway. So there are instructions on CDC's website of how to make a cloth face covering. There is a sew option and a no sew option. You can even use something that you have around the house like an old t-shirt or a bandana. For myself, when I go out, I had a bandana around the house and then used hair ties because we didn't have rubber bands handy at the moment. And I wanted to make sure that when I did go out in public following that recommendation that I did have my cloth face covering. So we encourage you to do the same thing. If you have any questions, be sure to check out CDC's website. And there's a lot of information on there about how to clean your cloth face covering, how to use it, how to measure it, how to make it. Um, so please be sure to check that out for more information. Other than that, we still want to encourage everyone to please, please, please stay home whenever you possibly can. If you are sick, stay home unless it becomes a medical emergency or you need to seek medical care. And then if possible, make sure that you're calling ahead, if you can do that, to your healthcare provider to let them know what's going on, what symptoms you have, et cetera, so that they can direct you accordingly. If you are needing to go out to get groceries or other essential items, please do that as infrequently as possible. If you can just go to the store once per week or even once every two weeks um, without having to hoard items in the meantime, we encourage you to get out as little as possible. Sheltering in place means staying at home whenever you possibly can. So if your workplace allows you to work from home, do that. If you don't need to get out for anything, don't stay home. And we know we keep on saying this and it's the same message over and over, but that's because it's incredibly important and that's what all of us can be doing right now um, as one of the proactive measures to try to keep ourselves and others safe. So please do your part as we all have a part to play. And those of you who have been doing your part, thank you sincerely from the health department and from the entire community. We are all in this together and we all have to do our part in order to keep as many people safe and alive as possible. So if you have any questions, please feel free to check out our website. And you can also always look to IDPH and the CDC for credible information. Thank you and have a great day.